All right, so I was on the internet. I'm looking for tail lights for my Ram. Because I already got it lifted, already got the I want to upgrade the headlights and tail lights. Now, I'm not wanting to go with LEDs because that's what everybody does. I was just looking for a smoked look. So I've been looking at smoke tail lights and smoke fog lights and stuff like that. But they're about $250 and they can even go up to $400 just for two tail lights, right? And I was looking at the third brake light. And a lot of people have problems with aftermarket brake lights when it comes to this truck. I don't know why. And I've even seen it in person. And I'm like, all right, I'm not going to blow that much money on plastic with light bulbs in it. Call me cheap, but I'm just not going to do it because it's not worth it. I'm not looking for fancy tail lights or headlights or fog lights. I'm looking for smoked fog lights and smoked tail lights. It's all I'm wanting. I don't want them super dark like some of them are. I just want a kind of a black smoke look, right? I'm like, all right, I have an idea. I've done this before back in the day, but I haven't used it since, and I've gained some wisdom since then. Um, I'm going to actually smoke them out with a, a can of, a, of tail light tint. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do it the right way. A lot of people on YouTube do it the wrong way, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the right way and get awesome results and how to keep up with it and keep them shiny and keep them from fading. So I'm going to the parts store now to get them. And when we get back, I'll show you guys the process of tinting your tail lights. And I'm gonna be doing the third brake light also. All right, what I'm using is this nightshade stuff, right? So what I like to do is shake it up a little bit run some warm water, not boiling water, but hot enough to make the paint thin out a little bit. Um, because cold paint will splatter, and uh, if you warm up the paint before you paint, it actually lays on really, really nicely. So that's what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna let this fill up, and then after it's, I fill it up to about here, level with my hand, because that's as far as my sink goes, and then I go out and clean the tail lights while this is soaking. All right, we got some alcohol here. I like to take some shop towels, um, the blue shop towels, because they pick up dirt really well and don't leave a lot of residue, but we'll get to that here in a minute. You just want to go ahead and wipe the tail light down, get them clean, get all the residue, the, the road grime off, and uh, just kind of wipe them off. Wipe the corners. You want to get the whole surface that you're painting because we want this stuff to stick. I get another one, fold it up, and then I get a little bit more, not as much as the first time, and I go ahead and rub it down, because I already got all the dirt off of it, and uh, I'm just kind of going around the tail light and around the edges real good, that way the paint is going to stick, and I do this for both tail lights, it's pretty self-explanatory, just make sure you get your tail lights super clean and get all the residue off the oils that'll keep the nightshade from sticking. Because I've seen people just wipe it down re real quick and spray it and it doesn't look good. It like, it reacts funny with all the road grime and stuff on there. And as you can see, I'm going with one motion going down. I'm pretty much just brushing any residue from the shop rag off. Um, but... I go ahead and take a microfiber cloth and go ahead and rub it down so that way it picks it up so I'm not leaving nothing behind at all because any kind of napkin or uh, shop rag, anything like that, shop towels, they'll leave stuff behind so make sure you have a microfiber cloth to get the rest of the residue off there.
So I'm just gonna do two coats. That's all I've done. And I did two coats on that. That's it. I'm not gonna go any darker. It recommends three, anything more than that. It's super dark, but I'm not going for a super dark look. I'm going for a smoked look. And this is actually working out really well. Um, I found tail lights, stock tail lights, and a third light online stock smoke like this for like 180 bucks. I just did this for 15 bucks. It looks a lot dark on the camera, but it's uh, dark enough where it's legal and, well, dark enough where they won't complain about it, or light enough where they won't complain about it, but it's dark enough where it looks smoked and it looks awesome. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tail lights in. And um, I'll show you a full view of all three of them when I get it all together. But I think it looks pretty sick so far. So here they are smoked out. The sun's shining in that over there, so it's not a bare spot. It's just shining in. That shows you how well the light goes through it. Um, here's the third one. There's that. I got them pretty even. This side's in the shade more than that side, so don't get it confused. Because as you can see, the sun is going directly in this tail light but they're pretty awesome so let's uh, turn the lights on and see what it looks like as you can see you can still see the tail light and everything so let's go ahead and start it up and turn the blinkers on and stuff as you can see you can still see everything the camera makes it look darker than it is but it's definitely smoked can it actually turned out really really well and shiny you can uh, see my reflection in it well we got the uh, tail lights in it looks pretty sick for 15 bucks it makes your truck look 10 times better and it saves you a lot of money until you can get more money to get your tail lights or whatever you want to do but that's basically how you do it and how you get professional results I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.